Right, now we are going to share, okay? We're going to share a certain amount of money and we are given the ratio in which it's going to be shared. Let's say that's Mary's share and that's Peter's share. Right, so divide 40 pounds in the ratio two is to three, okay? Two is to three. So the first thing we do is we add the two and the three and we get five parts. So the total is five. Right, so now we need to work out one part. Remember, a fraction would be one-fifth. So one-fifth of 40 is eight pounds. So we're dividing 40 by five, and we get eight. All right. Then, eight pounds times two, 16 pounds. So the two part of the share is 16 pounds, two times eight. The next one, eight times three, the one share, multiplied by three, and that gives me 24. Just do a little check and to see if you add the 16 and the 24, do I get 40? And of course you do. Okay, let's look at an alternative method. Alternative method. They both work. This one and the one I'm going to show you, yeah. So we've got 75 millimeters and we want to share it in the ratio 11 is to 14. Okay. I'm going to add these two together, okay, like we did over there. Added the 2 and the 3. I'm going to add the 11 and the 14, and I get 25. Okay, 25. Now, some of you will have seen already that this almost looks like a fraction, doesn't it? 11 25ths and 14 25ths. Now, you can do the sum 11 25ths of 75 or 14 25ths of 75 and you'll still get the same answer that we're going to get when we do this. Let's work out 1 11th, okay? That's one share out of, sorry, 25, not 11th. One share out of the 25. We've added them together, 25, one share. So 1 25th of 75. 75 divided by 25 is 3, and 3 times the 1 is Three. So one share is equal to three. So all I now do is 11 times three is equal to 33. And 14 times three is going to be 42. All right. And when I add the two together, I get 75. So my answer is 33. Don't forget, you must put millimeters again. And 42 millimeters. So if you look carefully, all we did here basically was we added the two parts. We did exactly the same here. We added the two parts. We divided the 40 by 5. We made that into a fraction. One part, one of the 25th. Okay, one 25th of 75 gave me 3. And all I did then was I multiplied 11 by 3 and 14 by 3. Don't forget the correct units.